we do not belong in the foreign constitution, which is only over, you know, short, very short period. It's only over 230 or so years. I think what we are seeking is acknowledgement of the fact this country is not terrenalius. The fact there is an alternative culture that needs to be recognised by Australian settlers. I realise that the settlers that were unleashed on us with the first fleets were also abused and brutalised people. Our short history in that period of time has not enhanced any good feelings. And if you stop and think of the inclusiveness of Aboriginal people, the original people of this country, they are so inclusive. And the other thing is that they care for each other in the traditional way is holistic. And this is what I've just come out of hearing the old songs being sung and young girls dancing and reasserting and reclaiming their land and their identity, which they've never lost. And I think I said right at the beginning, maybe we are living in a fool's paradise, that we still have our languages that we still have relationship with each other, real in-depth relationship, a real humanity towards each other. This is lacking when we come into the outskirts of townships and there is a feeling of conflict. That needs to be addressed by a truth and justice journey for us all, all people of this country, to look at the truth and to seek justice. Rosalie... Uh, and we only, can, we only can do that from a place of equality. We certainly are not equal in this country because everything that is handed down to us, whether it's through the policies from the federal government, is towards assimilation. We do not want to be assimilated to the cost of lo losing our identity. This is what we're saying, and I don't think that is too deep for anyone to understand.